Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Depend on where you are watching us from. You are welcome to Dr. Ephraim YouTube channel. Where we talk about the eye, where we educate the public on how to take good care of their eye, how to prevent blindness, how to keep our eye healthy. You are welcome. Today we have come with another interesting topic. The topic we came today with is age-related loss of vision. Things that happens to the eye as we are aging that can lead to loss of vision. If you are interested in topics like that, or if you are interested in topic like this, I will advise you to come closer and listen because you are going to learn a lot today we are going to talk about the things that happens to the eye as we are getting old normally as we are getting old there is something that is called atrophy atrophy will start taking place as atrophy is taking place our organs are shutting down gradually as you are getting old your systems your organs are shutting down gradually and the eye is not spared for us to enjoy life as we are getting old, we must learn how to take care of the eye, how to manage the eye in old age. We are going to discuss some series. They come on. There are many. There are many diseases that affect the eye as we are getting old. But we are going to talk on the ones that are peculiar, the common ones that we see in our environment. Then number one of it is what we call presbyopia. Presbyopia. Don't worry about the, the medical jargon. It's just a name that we attach in the eye care to help us understand and explain very well. I'm going to break it down the way you're going to understand it very well so that you know what press biopia is. Press biopia has to do with ability, with us losing our accommodative ability. Accommodative ability is ability for us to read tiny things. As you are getting old, you start losing the ability to read tiny things. That loss of accommodation is what we call press biopia. Once you get to the age of 40, you start losing the capability, you start losing the ability to do what? To read tiny things. That loss of ability to read tiny things is what we call press biopia in a layman way. What is actually happening, what is happening in the eye, what is actually happening in the eye is that one, you the lens that is in the eye is losing its ability to focus. There is something that is inside the eye that we call the crystalline lens. That crystalline lens has the ability to bulge and ability to flatten. For the lens to bulge and flatten, it means that the lens is elastic. As you are getting old, the eye, the lens will start losing that ability to bulge. The elasticity of the lens will start dropping. Just the way our bones get stronger as we are getting old. That lens that is inside the eye is made up of a lot of proteins that is called crystalline proteins. Those crystalline proteins are the proteins that is found, that is found, that is found inside the lens. Those crystalline proteins, as you are getting old, they start denaturing. As new ones are being produced, the old ones are being pushed aside. Then the lens becomes what is called sclerosis. It's called nuclear sclerosis. The lens becomes stronger and harder. For somebody to read, the lens has to change its shape for you to be able to read. Once the lens changes its shape, the reading material will become clear. Then once you raise your head up, the lens changes the shape too for you to see something that is far. That malleability, we use the word malleability, that the malleability of the lens is what helps us to do or to read tiny things. But as you are getting old, that ability of the lens to bulge and flatten would reduce. And that is what we call presbyopia. So presbyopia can mean loss of accommodation. Accommodation is ability to read. Then, how do you remedy this problem? The only thing that we use in the clinic to help somebody that is having presbyopia is what glasses you use your presbyopic correction the glasses are called bifocal multifocal progressive depending on the type that your, your doctor is going to give give to you so when you use a bifocal lens or a progressive lens to read 
it will be able to do what? To ameliorate, to help, so that you'll be able to read tiny things. When you put on the glasses, what happens? You'll be able to read the tiny things. When you remove the glasses, the tiny things become blur. So when you see yourself, start finding it difficult to read tiny things as you are getting to 40 and above. That does not mean that you are going blind. It's press myopia that is taking place. Age is catching up with the eye. Then there are some people that will say, no, I'm, I'm uh, 60 years, I'm still reading. If you check, there is something that is called myopic shift. The person is becoming myopic. So at that age of 40, 45, that fellow is still reading because he has now become short-sighted. It becomes an advantage. That does not mean that you are not, there's no is not taking place. So, but when you are having problem with reading at near, when you are 40, it automatically means that your distance vision definitely will be okay too. Or you might be hyperopic. If you are hyperopic, you crawl into press myopia faster. That means if you are long-sighted. But if you are short-sighted, it will take a longer time because the, before the person will come to the clinic. So you use glasses to take care of it. There are some surgeries that they have believed that you can do to help the eye. There are some other drugs that one can use. Drugs that will do what? That will constrict the pupil. When the pupil is constricted, what happens? You increase the depth of focus. Because it's a reduction in the depth of focus that makes it difficult for you to read anything. So when you put some eye drop that can constrict the pupil, it will make you to be able to read tiny print. Some people normally use it as a new drug that is coming on. That you can put in the morning, you will not need your glasses, but after some time it will wear off. The pupil will take its normal shape. So reading will become a problem. So that's like a temporary measure. Then some school of thought believe that some nutrients that you can take contain like lutein and... Uh, some other nutrients that what you take will help the eye too. For presbyopia not to come. Those things can delay the age. It's only God that can stop somebody not to age. As we are getting old, presbyopia will come in. So presbyopia is loss of what? Accommodation. Then the second problem that we find, it, that, can, that we notice in the eye as we are getting old, that is common in our environment, is what is called cataracts. It's called what? Cataracts. Cataracts is derived from a latin word that has to do with a waterfall you know when you look at waterfall you see that waterfall is white so cataract has this white coloration when you look at the patient when you dilate the eye and look at the lens you see that it's white patient normally mistake uh, cataract for 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 pterygium and glaucoma they are quite different so I will explain what cataract is all about. Cataract has to do with the crystalline lens, again, that is inside the eye. As you are getting old, there is nuclear sclerosis, as I talk about it, that, that protein that is inside the eye that's made up the, the lens, that is called the crystalline protein, as you are getting old, they will start denaturing. What I mean by denaturing, let me use an example. If you, have a, um, if you have an egg, there is something we call Candling, people that did agri very well. Candling is when you hold a lens, you hold an egg, and you shine light behind that egg. You'll be able to see whether the egg, whether the chick has started forming, from, forming in the egg. So that transparency of the egg is because there is nothing. The egg albumin and the egg uh, yolk are still liquid. But each time you drop that egg inside a boiling water, that albumin, because there are proteins too, just the way we have protein in the lens, it become what? Denatured. When it's denatured, if you shine light again, you see a mass of white substance that we normally enjoy when we peel off the back of the egg. So that egg became solid because it has been denatured by heat. So the, the, the crystalline lens in the eye too, as we are getting old, it gets denatured too and become opaque like that egg. So light cannot pass through it again. That's what we call cataract. So changing in the coloration, denaturing of the crystalline lens by aging as we are getting old is what we call cataract in a layman form. So the lens in your eye, the crystalline lens that is inside the eye, gets denatured and it changes color. It will not allow light to pass through. When it becomes too mature, over mature, that eye can become blind. The person will look as if it's blind. There is a bl <laughs> blindness from cataract is reversible. Unlike glaucoma, that the blindness is irreversible. With surgery, the vision of a patient that has cataract can be restored. 
Most times when the cataract become hyper mature, the patient become blind. He might be having a vision of light perception, LP. But after the cataract operation, that patient can still see. So blindness from cataract is reversible. Now, what are the causes of cataract? There are different, different types of cataracts, but I don't want to bother us with that. But let us now know what causes cataract. The main underlying fact, the main thing about cataract is that it obstructs vision. It makes it difficult for somebody to drive at night. The, the patient will be noticing what is called glare. Because as light is coming to that lens, it's scattered and causes a lot of disturbance in night driving. So cataract come with glare. And once you are 50 years and above, cataract formation will set in. Then there are a lot of things that can cause cataract. There are things that potentiate, things that help the formation of cataract. The formation of cataract is what we call cataractogenesis. Cataractogenesis is formation of cataract. Number one thing that causes cataract more is uh, heat. If you are an oval worker, just the way I talk about the egg being denatured in hot water. The same way, if you are exposed to heat, that UV rays that come from the oven, or you are a cook, you're always in the ceremony where you cook, or you are fa a factory worker in the furnace, you see that you develop cataract faster than your age mates. So heat causes the formation of cataract. Then some school of thought believe that some pesticides that we use stimulate or potentiate cataractogenesis, the formation of cataract too. Then there are traumas. When you have trauma in an eye, it can cause cataract. It's called trauma-induced cataract. Then what really causes that cataract is what we call oxidative stress. Oxidative stress on the lens can equally cause cataract. So when we have liquefaction of the vitreous as you are getting old a lot of the vitreous is made up of a lot of vitamin c so when those vitamin c are released when they get to the lens they causes what we call oxidative stress more on the cataract on the lens this can lead to formation of cataract too that's why aging process age is the number one risk factor as you are getting old cataract can equally form but after surgery that patient can still get a vision back. That vision can be restored with surgery if a patient is suffering from cataract. That's another cause of blindness as we are getting old. Then we'll look at another one that is called age-related macular degeneration. Age-related macular degeneration. Some book of some short form of it will be ARM. When you have age-related macular degeneration, that patient will be having problem reading. The number one problem that the patient will have is the reading materials will become very difficult. Reading will become very difficult for the patient. Then when they are looking at people's face at far, it will look as if the face of that person will not be clear. As if there is a sun covering the face of that person. You know that age-related macular degeneration has started setting in. So it has to do with aging. When you are getting old, another problem that is called age-related macular degeneration can set in. It can compromise your reading ability. Those are the patients when they come to the clinic, the doctor will be struggling to help them with their normal conventional presbyopia correction. Because most times they will think it's presbyopia that is making them not to read. Then when they get to the clinic, the doctor will be shocked that even with the presbyopia correction, the patient is still struggling to read. So you know that this patient has age-related macular degeneration. So after, if you now do your investigation very well by checking the fundus, you will now see that there is age-related macular degeneration showing at the part of the eye that that age-related macular degeneration has affected. The part of the eye that is affected is the area that we call the macula. The macula is the, one of the sensitive areas of the eye. At the center of the macula, you have what is called fovea centralis. That's with the, as the macula lutea, you see the fovea centralis that look like a shiny mirror. That area is concentrated with cone cells. Cone cells are photoreceptors that help us to see. We have two types. We have the rod that help us in the night. Then we have the cone cells that help us during the day. So there's a large concentration of the cone cells at that macular area. So when it's affected by age, what happens? That patient reading ability will be compromised. Even with your normal conventional glasses, the patient will find it difficult to read. There are many things that can cost it. Age is number one. And then um, we have two types of it. We have the type that is called the dry type and we have the wet type. 
the dry type has to do with aging as you are getting old that area of the macula will start thinning up as it's thinning up what will happen it will start losing some cells around there then the wet one has to do with development of new blood vessels that leak under the retina area to cause obstruction to cause problem at that area of the eye that is called the macula so age related macular degeneration is another condition that another problem that we face as we are getting old that can lead to reduction of vision or loss of vision then what are the things what are the remedies that we can that can help us to do what to reduce the progression of this when is at the end stage but well, it has three stages it has the early stage it has the intermediate stage and it has the end stage so once you get to the end stage it becomes difficult but some school of thought believes that there are some nutrients, like nutrients that contain carotenoids, like uh, lutins that you get from vegetable and fruits. So these beta carotenoids that we are talking about, they are quite actually helpful to the eye. They are actually helpful to the eye, not only with the macular area, even with the formation of cataracts. If you form the habit of taking vegetable fruits, that contain some of these beta carotenoids, it will go a long way to help the eye. Taking supplements that contain lutein, zardentine, and some other nutrients that helps in the prevention of oxidative stress on the eye, you might be able to slow down this age-related macular degeneration because it's not actually a common problem with us in Africa. It's a common problem with the Caucasians. The Negroes have age-related macular degeneration, quite all right. There is a common pathology that we see among the Caucasians. We are going to stop this video here because if we want to talk about all the diseases that affect the aging eye, the video might be very, very long. So we are going to have a part two of this video where we we'll talk about some other age-related diseases of the eye that can lead to blindness. If you have enjoyed the content of this video, I will advise that you hit the subscribe button and smash the like button too. And equally subscribe. Subscribing to this channel will not cost you anything, but it will make you to be available. It will be able to project any new video that we have uploaded so that you can see it. You'll be the first to see it and enjoy. Remember, our eye is our sight. Our eye helps us to live a better life. When there is no vision, the other systems will suffer. So if you have enjoyed this, this video, please, I will advise you to hit the subscribe button and then comment. You can demand for some video. You can, equally, you can demand whatever comment you have made or whatever question you ask, you can convert that question to a video so that other people can enjoy. Thank you for watching. Take care.